to the 13 for a first down. Michael Clough bottled up and taken down. He won't get it. So here we go. Wow, how about this? Michael Houston. The last time he kicked a field goal, October 8th of 2000, it was a 24-yarder at Philadelphia. Then he was a member of the Washington Redskins. He comes in to handle the field goal duties today because Morton Anderson, their field goal kicker, has a knee injury on his plant foot. A young man out of the University of Virginia has the whole season on the line for this Kansas City Chiefs squad. And this is one of those deals where he's going to either have a ton of friends or none after this kick. And that's a tough way to come into a team, but you still have an outside chance. Of course, the Chiefs had a playoff spot. Still a lot of time remaining. 113. If Houston makes this kick, San Diego will get the ball back, but... It looks to be about a 38-yard attempt. And, of course, Chargers have, Gus have no timeouts left if and when they get that ball back. But this is made. Of course, they challenged that play here a few plays ago, and then Rodney Harrison didn't like their alignment, called the timeout as well, and those timeouts become precious at this point. Look at the focus and concentration on the face of Houston. Moment of a lifetime in front of 79,451 fans. From 38 yards, Dan Straczynski is the holder. They get it down inside. And it's good! Houston steps into that kick as if he's been doing it all season for the Chiefs. Here's another look. Well, welcome to Kansas City, Michael. And what pressure coming into the team this late in the season, and there you go. Just a little headbutt. Do it all along. Yeah. And Dick Vermeil couldn't be happier on the sideline, trusting the nine-year veteran to do his job. And now with 108 to go, there's still time remaining. Marty Schottenheimer looks on. His team loses a five of their last seven. Well, Drew Brees has been hot this second half for the Chargers. They've given him some time to throw the ball. 